Hi YouTube, this is Lon Leola from Ellis Corner. I am coming to you with a video on as seen on YouTube, how to transfer a photo to wood. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos, so I'm going to do the one to wood, and then I'm going to do one for the um, canvas. So I'm doing the wood first. Materials you're going to need. Help. Picture hanging on two tools. This um, a brush, some kind of squeegee or some kind of um, thing that is going to help you smooth the picture out on the wood. A tray of some sort or something to put um, your Mod Podge in. The Mod Podge. That's the gloss. You're going to need Gorilla Glue. And I believe that is it for the moment. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the back of your wood, and I'm sorry, and wood. The wood of your, of your, your uh, size of your choosing. I bought this from Joanne Fabric. Um, it was $3.99. I had a half off coupon, so you know, you know the deal. Alright, so here's the wood. So I'm not going to paint this wood. I'm actually going to leave it because I'm going to be using this photo here. And I felt that the background with the raw wood is still, it, it, this would just stand, bring that picture out. So I'm not going to paint the wood. Um, but if you did, if you was going to paint the wood, you want to do that first. You want to get the painting out the way. Uh, I stained this, I actually stained this with uh, shoe polish, black shoe polish. Um, so you want to do around your perimeter of your wood, the base of the, the, the perimeter where you're going to be putting your picture. And the reason you do that is because you, when the picture gets laid down, if you have raw wood or if you don't paint it, it's going to look kind of crazy. Right? So that's why you want to put paint around and then also in the back because the next thing I'm going to tell you what you need to fill for is you need to cut, measure the back of your wood with your felt and cut out your felt. You're going to use your Gorilla Glue or your E6000 glue. After you cut it out, you're going to put uh, spread the, the back of your um, wood with Gorilla Glue or E6000 glue. And then you're going to lay your felt material over the backing because this is going to be the backing. The back of course, when you're hanging against the wall, it's not scratching up the wood, it's not going to mess up your wood. And then you're going to need your hardware, your um, picture hanging hardware, which is this, a small tooth hanger thing and you need to center it and put it on the back so all this can be done um, first I'll say paint first if you're gonna paint if you're gonna paint your photo paint uh, if you're gonna paint your wood paint your wood then um, once that dries then you do your uh, your felt glue your felt on and then you do your hardware once you're done with that you let that um, once you're done now you're ready to work with the front of your wood uh, I would recommend that you um, take a uh, cotton ball and dampen it with uh, alcohol and rub over the wood surface where you're going to place the uh, paint, I mean, where you're going to place the picture because it's going to, you, you never notice it may be dirt or some kind of, you know, dirt or whatever that you cannot see. So the, uh, the alcohol is going to clean it. So with that said, here we go. So what... After you do all that, you're now you are now ready to put your picture on the wood. Now I'm not my my version that I'm doing is not the one you put it on there and then you have to scrape and put water on and then no I'm not doing that. No. Anyway, the video that I saw you didn't have to do all that, and I did a couple of I did a couple of um, couple of wood plaques for a couple for my friend for a couple of friends for, as presents actually. And they fell in love with it. So once I get done with it, um, it just looks so nice and natural. All right, so here we go. So I already squeezed a large quantity of uh, Mod Podge. So I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to layer the top where I'm going to put the picture. I'm going to layer the top with Mod Podge. 
and I'm layering it real good. You know, don't put it too heavy, but enough where it's not dry and it's not over you know, overly thick. That's pretty much the way I'm doing it now. All right. So then I'm gonna. And then your photo, you want a photocopy of a picture. And if you already have a, a picture that already is photocopied, you just you just take it from there. So this is already photocopied. Um, so let's see if this one works. So I'm going to lay my picture on the wood. Okay. I'm going to lay here. Lay my picture like this. Make sure I got it even, and I just want to make sure that it's flat. This is where the squeegee come in. You can do it with your hand. Just make sure that it's laying. That no pockets and no bubbles in it. Well, that's that's why you put a thin layer of uh, Mod Podge on. Very thin, but enough to make sure that the picture adheres to the Mod Podge. So you just want to make sure that your picture is laying down completely on this. Just want to make sure that it's even. And when you put a thin layer on, it eats your picture easily adheres to the wood. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a layer. I'm going to layer it. Layer my picture. The Mod Podge. Pour some more because I'm running out of. So this is the part where you want to really layer layer your um, Mod Podge over the picture real good. And then you can also layer um, put your Mod Podge on the wood too because it's gonna give a, a nice shiny glossy look. This is why I'm just Almond milk out, sitting outside. No, so we uh, we use it. Oh. <clears throat> so we do make a copy of the real picture, or actually, you're supposed to. Uh, but this is actually the actual photo. That's broke. That's where it, that was sitting there. It was quiet, quiet. We got enough photos around that we can afford to take one out of a frame. Mm.
right, that was my husband. Sorry about that, guys, but I'm not going to redo this photo. I mean, this, this video. I'm not. So what I'm doing now is... Smoothing out Mod Podge. And it's not going to stay with this. It's going to dry clear and it's going to have a high gloss on it. I did it the size because the picture, the wood itself is going to be shiny. It's going it's almost gonna look like you put varnish on the wood. So now all I do is wait for it to dry. Make sure I don't have a a glob of it in one place. I just want to make sure I smooth out. I do it this way because it actually looks it's, it looks natural when I do it when I do it this way. All right, so that is the video for all right. So that is a video for how to put your picture on wood. So once it dries, I'm gonna take pictures of it so you can see what it looks like when it's complete. All right, there you go. All right, hope this was helpful. Hope to, this was that you, um that I wasn't in the screen, but um I thank you guys for ladies and gentlemen whoever is watching for watching my videos. Uh so hopefully this was a tutorial that you can use as well. Thank you. And again, this is as seen on YouTube transferring a photo to wood. All right, bye.